Hi, I'm Frank Bash, and you are watching the tutorial to install your Machine Ultimate Pro files. After you purchase this, the zip container, you have to unzip it and open the controller editor. First of all, please back up your old configurations. You have to go to File, Save Configuration, give it a text, and example backup. Okay. Next, go to the Edit. Open, go to the folder, open the machine, file, press open, and we are good to go. Very important, you have to, to connect your machine device. So you see it on this side when one is connected. Uh, now we can save the configuration. And close the control editor. Next, start tractor. Go to the setting menu to controller manager and if you get some old versions go to the device menu, select it and delete it. Okay. Now you can export and backup your files in Tractor 2. Very important, you have to see controller mappings. Okay. Same here to the desktop. And save. Now go to the Add button import TSI, import other, go to the folder of your download and select it, press open. Now close this tab and close or restart tractor. Next step, press the browser button on the machine hardware controller, select for example the track, load it to deck A, select deck A and load. 
leave the browser you should see here now the corresponding hot cues ladies and gentlemen party people in the house um, the basic transport functions and when you press play now the one and only Frank Bash in the mix you should see the options for duplicating the deck seeking functions and beat jump functions So now you are ready to go. Next step, you should go back to the browser, select for example a Remax deck and load it to deck A2. Leave the browser and in Remax deck A you should see all selected slots and cells. So you have to go on a machine into page A2, A3 and A4 to see that all cells are filled up. If you delete one, for example, we go to page 4 and delete this one. So we now see, okay, there is no cell. For the step sequencer, <coughs> should see this one. Go to the page one. For example, this is loop global. That means we have to enhance the loop from 8 beats to 16 beats. Now it's on 16 beats. You have to go now to page A, select and sample. Volume control you get on the mixer. Select deck A, in this case, go to the volume knob and go back to the remix deck section. Test it now with all samples play. The empty one here. So you should repeat this step for all four decks. Next, we go back to page one, select the sample, go to the step sequencer mode, and here now you have to start the sequencer mode, press a four to the four beat. You can hear it works fantastic. Uh, volume control for the slot 1, slot 2, slot 3 and slot 4. And we go now to the slot B, or sorry, or the slot A2. Select the snare. On the Slot 3, we get some uh, hi hats. Select the hi hats, start the sequence again. And it works too. And slot 4, we get some terms and congas. So we. Okay, we choose this one. Uh, very basic pattern here, and start the sequencer. You 
can mute the slots on the side where you find the filter and a good way to start is to check out all functions and all decks for example now we get here a remix deck we sh should try and <coughs> stem deck and test you see here now okay we get the corresponding hot cues back again and we should <laughs> deactivate the mute buttons okay it's same here, you have some filter effects on the remix, sorry, on the stem decks. Press play. And you can hear everything works fine. Uh, we can test back the Skipping functions. And this works too. Okay, repeat these steps for all your four decks. For example, you start with a normal track deck, you switch to the stem deck, and after that you try out the sequencer mode and choose some samples here, and you get free samples or remix decks. On Native Instruments homepage and for further questions or more information about these controller mapping you can send me a private message or leave a comment down below. Thanks, bye bye, I am Frank Bash.